you have moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis like me, and you're talking to your rheumatologist about a medication, this is Humira. This is Humira helping to relieve my pain and protect my joints from further damage. Humira has been clinically studied for over 18 years. Humira works by targeting and helping to block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to RA symptoms. It's proven to help relieve pain and stop further joint damage in many adults. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened as of blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB. Hepatitis B, are prone to infections or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Talk to your doctor and visit Humira.com. This is Humira at work. I have cervical cancer from an infection human papillomavirus. Who knew HPV could lead to certain cancers? Who knew my risk for HPV would increase as I got older? Who knew that there was something that could have helped protect me from HPV when I was 11 or 12, way before I would even be exposed to it? Did you know, Mom? Dad? I was infected with HPV. Maybe my parents didn't know how widespread HPV is. While HPV clears up for most, that wasn't the case for me. Maybe they didn't know I would end up with cancer because of HPV. Maybe if they had known there was a vaccine to help protect me when I was 11 or 12, maybe my parents just didn't know. Right, Mom? Dad? What will you say? Don't wait. Talk to your child's doctor today. Learn more at hpv.com. Nick and Katrina are back. Don't move. There is something next to you. With exclusive and never-before-seen footage. <laughs> what will they find? <laughs> Paranormal Lockdown, Monday at 10 on Destination America. Explore the boundaries, the beyond, the possibilities. Explore the unknown. Only on Destination America. Psychic Nadine Mercy is pursuing the paranormal force that is slamming this house. I really have this need to search for what's coming over the fence. We're on a hunt. This town has got a tremendous amount of power, and I don't think I just live here. And it's not necessarily the cemeteries that people might suspect. It goes way, way back before they were buried. And I'm hearing soldiers. I see people on horses. We're getting closer, I can feel it. This is where the road ends and the water meets. Man, there's a lot of energy here. This is where a battle was. A large, bloody war. A lot of soldiers committed their life for this purpose. Silly. Wasted. And it's still affecting the people that live here. This energy is water, much like the homeowners would feel this energy. These people are not alone, and they're not delusional. It affects the whole town in a very adverse way. Satisfied she found multiple sources, Nadine heads home. Her findings are compiled with Michelle's. 48 hours after the investigation began, our producers give Barb the results. In the local archives, Michelle made a shocking discovery. During the War of 1812, Kentucky militiamen attacked a native settlement on the nearby shores of Lake Erie. Hundreds from both sides were butchered in the bloody battle, 